A team representing engineering and construction divisions judged over 50 entries submitted by middle and high school students at the Savannah Regional Science and Engineering Fair. Four winners received U.S. savings bonds from the district in conjunction with the Society of American Military Engineers. We also participated in the technical training conference, sponsored in part by SAME, where Michael Wilpitz received the prestigious James Connolly Award. And finally, another team gave a series of presentations on mechanical and electrical engineering, architecture, geology, and hydrology at Jenkins High School, which boasts the only engineering program in the county. I think it's really important, uh, and it's great because one of the engineers is uh, an alumni from Jenkins. We really look forward to this. Uh, we have other people come in, but nothing beats the way they have things set up and how they devote the whole day. Established by President Harry Truman, National Engineers Week focuses on the need for students to excel in math and science to support the nation's continuing need for engineers. It also pays tribute to the field that has been called the invisible or stealth profession since much of its practitioners work behind the scenes. For the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, I'm Sandra Hudson.